Hello YouTube, Fez UFO here again with uh, uh, some more radio stuff, radio talk for you. I'm going to talk uh, today about uh, CTCSS tones or Continuous Tone Coded Squelch Systems that these radios use and how they work and uh, what they do uh, in a, a nice little test for you. So we'll start right away. These two radios have uh, are on a channel, a PMR channel, that have CTCSS tone, coded tones inside them, uh, both together. This radio has the um, one channel without the CTCSS and one channel with the CTCSS. So basically I can show you exactly what happens. We go on to, I'm going to use the Baofeng radio the bottom figure. If I key the mic here and talk you should be able to hear the, everything coming out the radio as normal. Check one two or one two three four. Check one two or one two three four. Great. Both come on, both work. No problem. If I take the middle one, I'll take the end one so you can see both the bow thing and the H777. One two three four or one two three four or one two three four or one two three four. So they both work. Bear in mind these are on the same channels and the same CTCSS tones codes. I'll change the bow thing now to a regular channel nine. These are set up to channel nine just with codes on. There's a regular channel nine which doesn't have a code. I'll show you what happens. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Still comes through. Okay, even though those are coded and that one isn't now this channel. However, if I use the bow fang to key up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Absolutely nothing comes out of those. So this is how CTCSS works. Now, I was wondering to myself, I thought, right, well if we're having a conversation with these two radios and somebody else decides to get onto the same channel and be a Muppet or whatever and key up, what's going to happen? So I'm going to have to put the camera down for this because <laughs> I'm going to be using two radios at the same time. Okay, but I'll explain exactly what I'm doing. So, uh, da, 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 wait a sec. Oh, that's something to hold the camera up with. There you, so you can see this radio when it uh, goes on and off. Excellent. Right, so we're having a conversation between the two here's 777s. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. As you can see, that works fine. If somebody decides to key up on the uh, channel that haven't got the, the right CSS to, uh, CTCSS tones, however, listen to what happens. I'll keep it with the H77 and then with the bow thing over the top about two seconds later so you can hear the difference and there is a difference so here goes ready testing one two three four one two three four testing one two three four one two three four basically that's all that happens you get a horrible buzzy noise i'll show you these radios keying up together hopefully oops It's still coming through all of them. Well, however, when I keep it with this, yeah, obviously the, the further away it is, the worse it is. Or the closer to your other radio it is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But you can still actually hear them. So uh, you'll know if somebody's uh, keying up and uh, cutting across you. 
So that's how the CTCSS tones work. They allow you to talk to each other, uh, but you're also heard on the same channel, even though you have two tones in these. However, when this one keys up, um, as long as it's not over your conversation, you will not be able to hear them. And that is basically how, uh, how it works. You'll just hear each other. And you might hear that annoying tone if somebody's keying up. So, hope, it, uh, hope this video's explained a little bit more about them and how they work. And uh, have a good day. Enjoy your radio and keep on rocking.